somebody they're gonna hurt you people are hurt you and it hurts like it hurts it sucks it just it just sucks <laughs> Hey ladies, welcome back to my channel. I am excited to record today because I got a special surprise and I'm gonna show you what it is. <laughs> so I went to Morphe. Yeah, I went to Morphe. We have one at Aventura Mall here in, uh, I was about to say in Fort Lauderdale, but it's in Miami. And yeah, like I went all out a little bit, just a little bit. Yeah, I'm kind of excited. I don't know why, but I got a couple things and I want to use it and I want to share it with you guys. So just keep on watching if you're interested, but wait, okay. Turn on your post notifications because I'm going to be bringing up a lot of new content for you guys and you don't want to miss it, first of all. But then second of all, y'all just need to come and see this face, you know, I'm just kidding. <laughs> like, right now, I don't have any eyebrows on because I have a brow kit. So I know you guys want to keep on watching for that. Just subscribe to the channel. Alright, let's do this. Alright, so let's unpack this bag. So, it's pretty hefty, pretty heavy. All right, I spent, let's see how much I spent. I spent, why did I write a phone number on it? That's weird. Okay, I spent like $100 in here. Oh, in store from, oh, I got a discount too, so. Yeah, I spent like $100 though. All right, so I got this Rose Away More Free Brush Set. I got this because I need new brushes. Okay, that's exactly why I got it. <laughs> so this comes with a deluxe buffer brush, angle contour, and blush brush. I just said that perfectly and I thought I was gonna mess it up. But <laughs> mini buffer brush, blending crease br brush, mini concealer brush, oval shadow brush, travel tubby. So yeah, this is for the vacation Vacate stunning, I guess. I don't know. Anyway, I'm just ripping this open. Let's get right into it. <laughs> Alright, so I'm gonna open it. It's so cute. Like, I got it because I just love the color of the brushes, to be honest. Like, the other one has more brushes, it's more expensive, and it's black. So I was like, there's not much of a choice right now. But let's hope I don't have to go and <laughs> get that one. But it's like, oh my god. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six. Six brushes. And aren't they cute guys? Like let's take it out of the packaging. This is the bigger brush, or I guess the biggest brush in here. And look at the rose gold on it though. Like that's 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 nice. So I don't need to show you guys all the brushes. Y'all get the point. So I'm gonna just skip that part. Then I got I got the Arc Obsessions. So I got this because I really wanted to try something different for my eyebrows. I normally just use um, the Anastasia Beverly Hills collection, well the pomade, and I love that stuff. But they're like, oh yeah, have you tried that? And I was like, yeah, <laughs> let me stop. But yeah, all right, let's just open it because I'm not trying to read the back and all of that. And let's just be real about it. So comes in this tissue paper and you get a little brush with a spoolie on one side and an angle brush on the other. Then you get this micro brow pencil let's see what's in it first of all oh okay so it has another spoolie and then it has so 
So there's the brow pencil. I don't know how that's gonna work on my eyes because that color looks interesting. And then we got the, oh, we got brow gel, guys. And then we got this, let's see what this is. Highlighter stick, a stick illuminator. If we could get it open, okay. This just says, oh, brow baby. And then we got the little pomade. So I'm excited, if you can't tell already, but I'm excited. So let's get into it. Wait, I think I have one more thing. Oh yeah, I forgot. So I got the foundation as well, and I wanted to try it because it really, like in the store, it matched my skin perfectly. So I was like, you know what, let me try it. I was like, yeah. Oh, wait, yeah, okay, that's it. <laughs> um, if I can open this, then we can get started. Oh, and guys, I wanted to show you the first time, but I was like, Nah, I'm not gonna show you. But I got this too. So this palette is uh, 35D Desert Boutique. And it has some nice colors in it. I'm not gonna lie. So I'm not gonna show you guys yet because I'm gonna do that towards the end. So yeah, let's get into it. All right, so I'm gonna just prime my skin and guys, I still don't have a mirror. <laughs> so I'm using like, I'm just using this mirror here from one of my other like eyeshadow palettes. So we're just gonna be, you know, just a little ghetto and just, you know, use what we got. Use what we got. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I love this primer so much. Oh, let me, oh, okay. I just slapped myself in the face, like, unless you just caught that. <laughs> but I'm gonna put my little scarf on. Cause I'm just gonna use the angle brush first, and let's just do my eyebrows first. I don't even know, like, guys, I'm like, I'm new to this. So I'm gonna just try it and go in with the palm head. Like, it's literally the same texture as Anastasia. So. A little bit of product goes a long way with that. Not even gonna lie. On the Anastasia brow kit, like sometimes you gotta use a lot of product to like get it the way you want. Um, I get the product. I get it. I get it. I mean, I never used a brow pencil before, so I'm just interested to see how that was gonna work. Alright, so I'm just gonna go on with my spoolie as usual and just get that natural look that I like on my brow. This is definitely so far more affordable dupe to Anastasia Beverly The pomade and I'm not mad at it so far. Let me know in the comments down below if you guys have ever use morphe before and if you guys like this product and if you guys like this type of video and just talk to me in the comments because i'll be watching them okay let's get into the foundation the pump looks like i forgot what the name of that product is but i think it's it's the milani yeah it kind of looks like that and this is, I'm in the shade uh, Rich, which is number 27. So just in case if you guys wanna, you know, follow that. But let's, let's bring you guys in closer. You know, let's bring you guys a little bit closer. I should've done that for my brows too, but I didn't. Still learning this stuff, guys, okay? I'm not, 
an official YouTuber yet. <laughs> I'm still learning like how to be this YouTube person. So anyway, I'm just gonna blend this in with my sponge. And so far the color is looking perfect. Okay. Just wanna cover the rest of those edges up because I do not like seeing makeup in my edges. Like that's like slightly a pet peeve of mine. This color though, like this is actually almost a better color than some of the other foundations that I have. But I wanna do like a makeup therapy with you guys because I feel like I feel like we need some makeup therapy this is a little bit just a tad a tad orange on me um but we can try to lighten it up a little bit I don't know I feel like it's definitely my summer color but what do you guys think yeah, I'm, I'm new to all of this YouTube stuff. And just like, this is just what I want to do. I just like, I just love it. I love creating everything that has to do with being a content creator. Whether it's YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, all of those platforms. Like, I just love it. And even if it's not on that platform, like, I'm just a creator. I'm an artist. I. I haven't written any poetry lately, but I love writing poetry. Yeah, I just love, I love YouTube. I love the ability to like make money doing what you love, like sharing what you like to do. And yeah, like just having that as a option, like a lot of people don't get to do what they like to do in life, what they really wanna do to be able to make money, to bring, bread home for their family so I just love that ability to do that for content creators and all that stuff so I'm not going to talk anymore what are we doing next so <laughs> um now I'm going to go in with the palette so isn't it so cute guys I think it's so cute anyway I'm just excited today like I'm just really learning how to not let things bother me guys like I'm really I'm really 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 trying <laughs> to not let things bother me in my life I hope you can hear me even though I was like moving that all around It's beautiful. It's a beautiful palette. I'm gonna find my concealer and I'm not about to go. Oh, I think I know where it is. But I packed it for my shoot that I was doing. Actually, to be on the studio for Rap Shit, which is Issa Rae's her movie. And yeah, like, I just have like a long story. You guys have to go check out my vlog because you guys would understand better context as to what happened with that and I'm just gonna like I know no one knows me yet and all that with YouTube but you know I I just want people to know that <clears throat> life can be very difficult and for me I want to help other people go through go through things you know when they're when they're dealing with issues um, I don't know the name of this brush either, guys, but just, just know that it's like this. Life can be difficult, and especially when you don't have a lot of people to go through things with, um, or you don't have a lot of people to go through the things that you're going through with. You know, for me, being in the entertainment industry, or at least trying to, you know, step foot in that a little bit, like, I'm just, you know, 
I'm just a hustler. So I'm gonna do what I can to make money. And that goes with my morals. Nothing that goes against my morals. And so on, so on and so forth, right? So that's just something that is making me money right now. So for me, a lot of people can be a certain way in this industry. And that's why I kind of avoid doing certain things, if that makes sense. I don't like being or associating myself with some things that has to do with the entertainment industry. Okay. Does that make sense? Right. So, <laughs> I guess what I'm just trying to say, point blank, is I had a difficult time on set and I'm still recovering and dealing with that. Um, it was very hard and you guys have to go on my um, blog to go figure out what happened. So I'm going to go in with the color uh, Adobe. really sorry it's just really how you deal with it and how um, you choose to manage your stress levels <laughs> and be at peace about things you know like a lot of times we're not I'm moving all around in this video huh let me just move back a little bit yeah so a lot of times we're not at peace about things that happen and go on and that's something that I'm actually still transitioning and dealing with and accepting in my life and being accepting of things that happen because sometimes I feel like oh no like I can control this yeah sometimes I feel like I can control things but a lot of things are out of my control I'm going in with the color mud mask <laughs> I'm still like oh lord thank you and then there was light all right I am still learning about this YouTube stuff and the camera and I'm just gonna be real in front of you guys like I'm not even gonna I'm not I'm not gonna edit everything out I'm gonna show you my mistakes I'm gonna show y'all how I mess up because everybody does be, just people don't like to show when they mess up I don't like showing when I mess up either, like who does, but I think just being transparent with yourself and with others and knowing that like not everything is going to go perfect in life. So I think the thing is just learning how to flow with your mistakes and all of that stuff. So I'm going to go on with the color Rock On. my 
just how I feel about things and I want YouTube to be an outlet for myself I feel like I, I'm very hard on myself as well and I want to learn how to be a little bit more easy and just expressing myself in a better way I'm going on with the color hottest ever I know I didn't show y'all that one but their direction that they're gonna go in and so you have to take time to understand yourself and understand like I don't understand myself so I can't answer y'all I can't tell you all what I'm gonna do and how I'm gonna do it and like a lot of people be like so what's your plan and it's like I don't have a plan <laughs> like I'm just trying to figure this out on my own too you know like I think society just makes you have to like you have to know you have to know and a lot of times we're just not gonna know and that's something that I'm learning in my life like I'm just not gonna know I have to go with the ebbs and flows of life the that's why there's yin and yang and up and down like there's different aspects to life so I'm not gonna know everything so anyway I'm going into the next color <laughs> So I want to do something a little bit more like funky because I don't do things like that. <laughs> so I want to do like I want to do like this this color. So this is Mohav Heat. this fruit oh lord all right i sprayed it all over guys <laughs> all right so i'm gonna go on with this color right here and before we get into the rest of the um the glitters the shimmers and i'm just gonna put that like right here this is actually very oh this is very transparent for me because I do not use these color colors like this is different but we're gonna see if we like it that's what we're gonna do today and so far I do but yeah I don't know what you guys are going through out there um if you guys want to do like a series where I answer your questions or if you want to go like tell me what things you're going through in your life and like you want my advice then like i would be so honored to do that like that would be so exciting for me so just like comment down below and then also follow me on my instagram at kiyama underscore underscore and then we could like you know we could just do this like have a friendship we need to like we need to have a friendship okay so <laughs> So I'm gonna go in with Cacti Love. Cap 
I love you. <laughs> I literally have been through like the longest days of my life <laughs> in the last 24 hours. Not really, but like it's it was tough um, for me. I just feel like some people they just do things spitefully to see your reaction. Um, I've just been challenged with that recently, like just people hurting hurting you whether it's intentionally or unintentionally. Sometimes you have to like know that the person might not know better and you just have to keep on moving, keep on, you know. I don't even know, like it's hard hearing like, okay, keep on moving or whatever. Like somebody, they're gonna hurt you, people will hurt you and it hurts, like it hurts, it sucks. It just sucks. But sometimes you just gotta try and just get to know yourself just so that you know, okay, I'm not gonna let that type of person into my life again. Um, or if it's like family, then just be like, okay, I have to limit my um, association with this person, <laughs> even if they are family. Like, you're not wrong for taking a break with talking to people. Like some family members feel like, oh, okay, you think you're better and just all the jazz that they like to say, right? You think you're better than us, you think, you know, who do you think you are? Whatever they might think, right? But you got to do what's best for you because at the end of the day, you're the one who is going through this journey and it's called life and you want to be happy with yourself you want to be at peace you want to you know be able to give other people things because if you're not your best then you can't give you can't give to anybody and i've learned that the hard way like i've learned like sometimes i can't i can't talk to everybody i gotta take a break i got to a mental break i can't talk to y'all today Today, I can't talk to y'all, I can't talk to nobody. <laughs> and then even if it's like this week, I can't talk to anybody. Or if it's this month, I can't talk to y'all. But don't get in a cycle of like not talking to anybody at all. Just try to get in a cycle of like, you know, let me, let me do what's best for me because I don't feel good. And if you're not feeling good for yourself, then you're not gonna feel good for others. So I'm gonna take this little brush, the one I use for my concealer. And then I'm gonna go in with the color Plant Mom. And I have no idea why they named it Plant Mom, but ask Morphe why they named this Plant Mom. let y'all know like I like these brushes so I'm happy with it and I think there's enough like versatility with it um you don't need like the whole big set to get what you want because I never blended them. So now I'm learning. <laughs> um, now I'm learning that. Um, I wanna try before I like, I forget. I wanna try, I wanna try the 
the brow gel on my eye brows a little bit just a little bit because I don't I've never used brow gel before guys so it brings like how do you say like the warmth like you know when you put pomade on your eyebrows it looks like you just painted your eyebrows on like this just makes it look like oh okay like I meant to do that like I meant like these are my natural brows yeah let's see the eyes and I like it it's cute okay so let's get into the eyeliner I'm just gonna do my eyeliner and my mascara and then come back all right so I'm just gonna speed the rest of this up and then I'm just gonna give you the whole review on how this product has worked for me how Morphe has done you girl okay so let's do this Okay ladies, so this is the final look and I love it. I'm just so thankful for Morphe with all these products. This video is not sponsored by the way, but I want to just show you guys this pencil real quick. Before I go, I'm going to try to like highlight my brow a little bit and this look is going to be complete. So I'm just going to go in right here. I didn't mess up my lid. <laughs> but I'm just gonna put in a little bit on the end and just see how it goes. So I'm just gonna use my buffer brush and just like buff out. It's a very creamy um, formula, so it was very easy for me to like blend that out. I thought I was gonna mess up with my look, and it actually made it look better. Yeah, we rock it with it. We rock it. So yeah, like, what do you guys think? I'm in love. I think the color of the foundation is a little bit on my summer side. I look very bright, but on a whole, I feel like it's really, really nice. All right, ladies, so thank you so much for watching this video. I really appreciate it. Thank you Morphe for all these beautiful products. My face is beat. I look good. I tried out some new colors. I tried some new brow gel and a new highlighter. So for me, like I'm excited right now and I really appreciate you guys for watching this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. 
please subscribe to my channel i have a lot of content coming for you guys i'm getting more comfortable in front of the camera i am you know just gonna be kiyama that's why it's called kiyama's truth because i'm just gonna be living out who i am who i want to be in this life so everything that encompasses that i will be showing you guys so just keep on watching I love you guys and you guys have a wonderful day. Peace.